Aloha! This is the Green Lighting Mr. T. Last episode, we continued to make our way through the temple and got the long shot and stuff. We now have the, the big key. We can now make our way to the boss and, frankly, a pretty, well, a pretty easily broken boss. Let me check the sculpture account. Oh, dang it. Now, what have I missed? Oh, wait. I haven't done that yet. Okay, that's fine. Just need to grab a golden scutula in here and we're good. No, give me that. So you do need the long shot in order to get the skull and skull tula. So you do have to remember to come back here. All right, and now we're good. Very good. Okay. Okay, so this room's kind of annoying. They have all these spiky traps, and this is kind of. Yeah, have, just have to brave it and not get hit whatsoever. Or else you fall all the way back down. This robe sucks. <laughs> and if you like, you, you have to, you basically have to keep going forward, or else you will slide back down. Go, 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 go! I've got it! I got it! Go, 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 go! Yes. Okay. Oh, who is it? I'm swimming in the pond. <laughs> oh, what a great feeling! Blah blah blah. Oh, blah blah blah. It's just horrible. It's completely fine to swim in. It may not want to still though. <laughs> they act like it's just like you should not be in the water though. But it honestly is fine. There's only one thing you have to worry about, and that's this boss. Well, maybe you don't even have to worry about the boss as much. <laughs> um, did this boss... Um, well, you... Uh, it's... It's kind of... Interesting looking. But it's really easy. I mean, as long as you're paying it functionally attention, you should be fine. <laughs> So this is Morpha, master of the water temple. It has absolute control of water. Polaris nucleus and attack it. So basically, um, it makes these big tentacle things out of, made of water. And, well, you just have to stand back and let it come out. And ultimately, um... And it does have. Eventually, we'll get to a point where it starts using two tentacles. But that shouldn't be an issue. Die! Haha! -ha. There you go! That's Morphia! Honestly, I don't see why I should draw out the fight when it's really a lot of the same thing over and over again. It really is. You just wait for her to appear. You stick your long shot out, and you sh you, z you zap him in, and you and you whack him. <laughs> and if he goes back in the water, you just have to repeat the process all over again. It really. <laughs> I mean, sure, there's two tentacles at some point. The it the other one's just like a decoy or something. It's really not an issue. 
Uh, it's it's an easy boss. <laughs> Easily broken too. Oh, I love just smashing stuff over and over with the with the megaton hammer though. I didn't think it. I didn't realize that having a sword or something would be so much fun with the megaton hammer. Hey, Rudo. What's up? What is up? It is way too late. I don't know, remember the last time I've ever recorded this late. Oh my gosh. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Honestly, <coughs> Honestly, I've been recording for two. <laughs> oh, Medallion, hooray! Oh my god, I've just been recording for way too long. Oh my god. <laughs> we got the water medallion, hooray! Now we need to go back and get the forest medallion. <laughs> and honestly, we. Probably have time enough time to go back and do it. <laughs> this As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Mr. T, you did it! Oh, right, uh, that's me. Did Ruru want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake, too, don't we? Look at that, Mr. T. Together, you and Princess Rudo, well, more or less, more me, destroyed the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is as it was here. Honestly, I don't know what Rudo did. She, she disappeared. <laughs> Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly! <laughs> Hooray! To be honest, um, they should have given you a bit more time to do this. Um, like, they, the sun should have been lower. <laughs> um, but anyways, we can now get fire arrows. And yes, I do know as a young kid there is a golden scotula that I completely forgot to get over here. And we get the fire arrows. This is the last item in the game I was I discovered as a kid. Um, this was the last thing I needed in order to beat the game as a kid as well. I this was the last item I did. I did not know. I didn't. I never figured out this puzzle of here, and there is one part of the game where you ne where it is required to have fire arrows. Only one instance where you cannot use Din's fire as, as a replacement. It is this one thing that makes fire arrows required, which is, eh, it's eh, it really is eh, because ah, like there, there's 
That's that one part of the. Whoa! Did not mean to do that. Anyways, these are go aways, as that's the joke of the name. Gway, go away. They tend to drop a good amount of rubies or something like that, right? Well, sometimes. I don't know. Maybe that's just later games. Okay, um... I don't need any supplies. Um... da 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 da, -da. Um... I guess I can just whistle away or something? Okay. Dang it. There we go. And just like that, we're off to the forest temple. My gosh. Well, close enough. For Lost Woods. Okay, let us get out of here before this video gets stuck being with copyright notices or something. I have no idea. This is the forest of copyright infringement. Uh, I'm pretty sure this joke's already been made by plenty of other people. Okay. So we've got fire arrows. That's nice. I wonder if they do... I'm I'm pretty sure they do more damage. Maybe I could try them on the boss. Um... Yeah, why not? I'll use that on the boss. And then just throw that up there, and... I don't have an empty bottle at the moment, but I'll will eventually. Okay, so first things first, I need to get that golden scotula, which I forgot about. A long shot will make getting to it a whole lot easier. That and a chest. And, ah, uh, shoot, I need, I need regular arrows now. <laughs> and, well, I could use more decky nuts, I guess. Actually, I could have sure tried using the Megaton hammer. Not sure why I pulled this out. There we go. Wait. Wait a minute. You know? I think you could have actually I could have actually just done this uh, with the regular hook shot. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is possible. Or wait, hold on. Let me get it. Yep, that is def- Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what happens. It's incredibly awkward to get to. That's right. Okay, yeah. For... I think it is still- t It is technically possible to do this. It's... Yeah, like that. That was probably the length of, a sh of the hook shot. And then you can get up here and then grab this. And then you could call Pierre and then you could get back up there, I think. Something along those lines. Yeah, Pierre's up there. Yeah, I remember this. Well, this is amusing. Because I, I remember this temple being being able to be really sequence breaked or something. I don't know. This temple is just off the charts weird. It is just weird. Okay. And what's up? We are good on that account. Okay, um, just to be safe, I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna use Dins, not Dins Fire, a Forest Wind. Make this easier on myself. I think 
think they went back up the stairs or something. Alright. So if I need to get out of here, I can. Not. You cannot use Forest Winds in the boss room. That is interesting to know. And apparently you can't leave the boss room once you enter it, even though the door is not locked. That's nice to know. Uh, let's give this a try. It'll probably do more damage. Alright. Oh no, there's no one here. Let's leave. Okay. Oh no, it's Ganon! Oh no, I, I, I know this game all too well. <laughs> It's Phantom Ganon, even worse! Evil Spirit from Beyond. With a really cool... He's a really... This is a really cool boss. Because he goes into the freaking painting and rides around on his horse. Alright, so... You or you... Oh, dang it. Alright. You just pray and hope you're standing in a spot where you're not going to get zapped when that happens. Okay. I'm um, behind me. Oh, I got him. Alright, so this is Phantom Man. Attack him when he comes out of one of the pictures. Watch out for the fake one. So this is probably going to be over a lot more quickly. If all goes well. Um, I don't even know where the other one is. Oh, what? Okay, I clearly shot him. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. You can also use your hook, your hook shot, or in my case, the long shot, in order to hit him. Okay, really? Oh yeah, that's right. I think one of the tippets somewhere is that it, standing right by the gate is a safe spot. Maybe not. Who knows? Oh, come on! That totally hit! Ah! Probably, honestly, a better dude is the hook shot. Seems to be registering a lot more. It's also, it's probably just because I'm trying to use fire arrows. There you go. So now it's Phantom again. It's an evil ghost from the force of He comes out of one of the pictures. Yeah. Answer his magic attack with an attack of your own. Honestly, is there another how that goes on for two things? That's actually, that's actually kind of curious. Alright, so now this is where the Megaton Hammer comes into play. Ah, uh, that or magic, or a uh, bottle. <laughs> I am gonna have to get this timing down. Oh dear. Well, maybe I'll end up using the empty bottle after all. I would prefer not to die here, but that's not always how things work. Jeez, oh, this doesn't seem to be working right. It looks like I'm hitting it. Do I have to use an empty bottle? Alright, well, start using an empty bottle. This should work. I did eventually look online and see that people said you could use the Megaton Hammer or the bottle. Okay, the bottle works. Let's get, let's stick to the bottle. Let me get some distance. Oh, come on, don't move. Just stay put. Oh, gosh dang. Well, at least the bottle's working fairly well. Okay. Here! 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 Yes! Oh, get in here! Eat Megaton Hammers! <laughs> <coughs> so the <coughs> way this works, the more volleys you do, the longer the stun is. 
So that's a useful thing to know, to, to judge your, um, your stun time by. Honestly, this should do it. <laughs> That was a good stun, though. Ah, oh, I just needed one more here. Gosh, dang it. Ah, oh, I was that close. So in all honesty, I probably could have defeated him um, when I first got here and just used the bow. Oh, well. Hey, kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be growing some skills, but I only defeated my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. I don't know what I did for a voice for him, but whatever. <laughs> That's supposedly Ganon. Yay! I didn't need the Megaton Hammer at all! Yay! I just needed an empty bottle, apparently. Okay then. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I don't know why I'm voicing you and not Ruto. Maybe it's because Ruto just doesn't seem to do anything in the Water Temple. I am Sarah, the sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the Forest Sage and help you. Now please take this medallion. Yay! I got two in one episode, guys! Isn't that great? <laughs> and we received the Force Medallion. Sarah Wicken is the Sage and adds her powers her power to yours. Sarah will always be a friend. Yay! Talking in the third person! <laughs> I love the extra long scream. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree, Sprout. <laughs> because you and Sarah broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognize you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grew up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hylian. I'm happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest.
After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. I guess it wasn't that very long ago if I was only a baby boy when the before the king unified the Highland area, or something like that. But oh well, he didn't have a very long rule then. <laughs> I guess. You are Hylian, and we're always bound to leave this forest. And now you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Mr. T, break the curses in all the temples, and return peace to Hyrule. Okay, with that, I am... Wow, two in one episode. Man, that was weird. Okay, so at any rate, this has been the Green Lightning Mr. T. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And to you I say, Aloha!